welcome back to the channel. If you're here today for the first time, welcome. As always, I am so happy to have all my new people around. So um, get ready to get cozy with us as we getting ready to decorate my full living room. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you all so much for your continued loyal support. Okay, so today we are going to be taking on the living room, as I mentioned last week in my entryway video that this week will be the living room. And here we are today taking on the same color palette, that rustic and warm, cozy aesthetic, where we're going to bring in the browns and the beige and the a little tiny touch of plum and the rustic tiny touch of black also because you want to you know you don't want to forget the black because it's important as well okay so um the space is all clean yes yeah, so we're not going to do any cleaning in our decorating videos uh, i take care of all of that clean the windows, do the necessity, and it's all nice and clean and just ready for decorating. So we don't have to waste too much time cleaning because that's not what you are here for. <laughs> I know you're here for decorating, so we're not gonna waste time cleaning. So we are going to get ourselves ready and get busy. So thank you so much for stopping by today. I'm starting off the space by changing out my window treatment. This is something I like to do for each season. Now I'm bringing in a more warmer tone and this is a beige uh, linen type filter uh, curtain that can be hanged multiple ways. I'm using the curtain hooks to create a more luxe look. So this is the look of the empty space. I um, removed the summer carpet and I replaced it with a more warmer tone uh, carpet for the season. This is the Madison Woven Turkish Air Rug and I have it in the Distress Beige. Now I'm bringing back my two armchairs to the space. So this little end table was a white ceramic table, but I wanted to create a more natural sort of stone look. So I used the waver chalk paint in the mineral so to create this finish. Now it's time to decorate the space. This is a terracotta three-legged oversized bowl and I'm just gonna start from the bottom of the shelf and work my way up. And this next piece is a DIY that I did. It was originally green and I um, changed it to give it a more uh, rustic sort of vintage antique look. And this is a thrifted piece from the Salvation Army as well. Next to the vessel, I'm bringing in some books for height and dimension. On top of the book is a thrifted piece also that I repainted. Inside that uh, platter, I'm going to place uh, three wicker small pumpkins. Now moving on to the next shelf and bringing in this two set of flax leather sto decorative storage box and I'm going to place it right in the center and that will be it for that shelf. Now I'm going to be adding some more books to the next shelf, to the right of the shelf. And on top of the books, going to be a DIY pumpkin. 
this is my DIY pumpkin I used the waver chalk paint in the front to create this earthy tone I'm finishing off that shelf with this small rust, uh, rustic uh, bud vase. It's not black, it's not brown, it's like in between. With these picks from the Heart and End collection last year. Now for some height and dimension. Uh, to bring the eyes up, I'm bringing in this tall vase and I'm going to finish it off by contrasting it with this wooden arch. I like changing out my artwork for every season. These prints are from Etsy. I'll link it below in the description box along with other linkable items. For those that are following me for a while, this is my DIY lamp that I did a couple weeks ago and this is where it ends up in this space. Another DIY vessel that I did I tried to create a rustic uh, sort of aged look to the finish. So the vessel I'm using these dry adreno stems from Michaels. Next, I'm bringing in uh, more stacks of books, some large one to the side of the crescenda. On top of the books, I'm placing uh, this glaze uh, ceramic uh, caramel bowl right on top. I'm going to finish off this area with this set of black taper candle set. This is another DIY vessel that I did that I love dearly. It was originally that terracotta uh, sort of look and I just used paint and dirt to create this dirty rustic look. Also my coffee table, I just recently gave it a, a new look. I used different mixture of paint to create a earthy undertone. Now inside the vessel I'm using these oversized dark maple leaf from the at home store but I would think it's more of a dark plum and that's perfect for what I'm going for. Now over to the right rear of the table, I'm placing this uh, heavy, it's really heavy, marble tray from Burlington. On top of the tray, I'm placing this aluminum dual candle holder from the Studio McGee and some marble coasters, a matched cloche. to represent the season and my candle snuffer to finish off the tray. Okay now to the front right of the table. My arranging books I'm going to place right there on top of the book will be a beautiful nature realistic sort of look pumpkin that I love so much. Now over to the left of the table two stacks of book on top of the books will be this brass leaf bowl. Inside of the bowl going to be this beautiful nature looking realistic look pumpkin. How adorable are they? the lower table.
table, a set of wicker basket for some extra storage. Okay, on top of this black end table, another book for some height. And on top of the book is going to be this brass retro venture telephone from back in the days, way back in the what, 60s or 70s, yeah. And it's a real phone, it works. When you plug the phone in your landline, you will get a dial tone, you'll receive and make calls. And I'll show you right now. This is the cord that it comes with. You just snip it inside there and attach it to your modem or your, your wall and you're good to go. All right, so that's my little vintage piece right there. Okay, onto this other table. I'm using these two marble book ends to create a little sculpture for this little area right here. Moving on to my chest, um, changing out my artwork. And this is another vintage piece. And this one is from Amazon. Another DIY vessel from my collection. And this is a highly rustic vessel. And inside there, I'm using these picks, just two I need. Uh, from Michaels. Over to the right of the chest, my Tom Ford book. On top of the books, it's going to be a simple setting, just some contrast right here with that decorative uh, pot and uh, brass tied knot, and that's it for this hair contrast and bringing in a set of abstract uh, art print from these are from Amazon to both sides of the wall and another fall print and this is from Amazon as well And these are all pillow covers from Amazon. And for some extra coziness, I'm bringing in all the blankets to the chairs and the sofa, because this is a time that we just need to cuddle up and get real cozy. really know me jazz and classic is my thing that's what I play around my house here every day so those are my jazz album that's Tony Bennett's collaborating with Lady Gaga with their jazz album and just to add a little touch of fall by my window slate right here I bring in some dry floral and my brass water pot 
yeah let's like to dress up that little area right there now it's time to grab yourself a hot cup of pumpkin chai tea so you can relax and enjoy the overview of the finished space
you have it my friends that's the end of today's video i hope you like what you see today and if you do please give me a big thumb up like comment and share with your families and your friends and for those that have not yet subscribed to my channel please find it in your heart to consider doing so i thank you all so much for joining me today on this fall journey and i hope to see you in the next video which will be my kitchen fall decorate with me until next time this is aretha saying bye and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for being here